I literally want to play mermaids. Oh, I love it here. I never want to leave. Good morning, guys. You are currently sitting on top of my suitcase. Today, we are leaving Rome and we're flying to Athens, Greece. Today is probably like the latest day that we're allowed to sleep in. We slept in about 9 a.m., which felt amazing. Last night was really fun. We went to the Spanish Steps. For some reason, one of the girls that we were with thought there was like a garden on top of the Spanish Steps. There was not, but we went to this pasta place and then we walked around. Everyone got gelato. I got a cannoli. I don't, I've never had them before. They're so good, so good. I finished mine and I was like, why do I want another one? Like, I know I shouldn't because I just had this one. I'm not even hungry, but it was so good. And then we took the metro home. We actually ran into our tour director on the metro home and we were like, no way. So last night was a really fun night. A good last night for Rome, but we had to check out of our hotel in 15 minutes, a little bit less than 15 minutes. Rox in the bathroom, he just showered. I'm just finishing packing up all of my stuff. Never in my life have I ever waited until the morning of to pack up my stuff. But here we are. I also met the nicest subscribers yesterday. This was like the craziest story. I cannot believe this happened. We were sitting on the steps of this pizza restaurant waiting for our friends before we went over the Spanish steps. And these like girls passed us, like a big group of girls, and they all had like their luggage. They passed us, and then I hear my name, and I thought it was the girls that we were waiting for. And it was them, and it was so crazy. Like they were traveling all together, and they were like, we just were in Florence. Like we were saying, like, oh, like you're always like one stop ahead of us. And it was so crazy. They were so nice. So hello you guys were made my whole day i was so excited but now we are just packing up everything I'm trying to think if we have any last minute things to do i hope we don't forget anything we can't come back here also this is just my travel outfit i'm not like wearing this around rome don't worry or at least i don't think i am because our flight is around noon and it's like 10 ish right now but yeah a little update for right now i'm really excited to go to greece say we just got to our hotel room i mean like less than a minute ago this hotel is so bougie looking compared to the other ones that we've been even if we stayed at really nice hotels before like this one's bougie like it's like white kind of like marbly floors i'll show it to you like the lobby it's incredible our tour guide is from athens and i was like this is nice and she was like we'll see and i was like what do you mean and she was like 10 15 years ago this was like the nicest hotel this is still really nice i'll show you guys a little tour but we made it to athens apparently it's a very central hotel as well this is the name of the hotel if anyone cares I wish we were room 113, but that's okay. To have the power on, you need to have your room key in this, which I think is pretty cool. And then right when you walk in is like this little closet. This is the first time we've had a closet in here. Oh, they gave us slippers. That's so cute. On the other side, I haven't even walked in the bathroom yet, is the bathroom. Oh, this nice little, love that. Okay. Ooh, hair dryer. Interesting. Okay, the shower. Oh, you okay, you can hang that up there. That makes more sense. Very nice, very nice. And then out of here, I haven't seen one of these. Like this is the most like American feeling hotel that we've been in so far. I think it's really nice. It's like just two twin beds pushed together, which I think is adorable. And then, yeah, this is it. This is really cute. This is kind of nice. So like I said, our tour guide is living in Athens currently. Like that's where she lives. So she's gonna take us around Athens and like show us some really good places to eat food. We're kind of hungry. Let's see what time it is. It is 8.52 PM, but Italy time, the time zone that we're currently on currently on as if we're on like a real time zone right now it's 7:53, so it's an hour ahead here so she's gonna show us around everyone was saying like we just want to go we're gonna wear whatever we wore in the plane the plane ride was like pretty quick pretty easy the bus ride here was really beautiful like we saw a little bit of the city she was telling us a little bit about it obviously because she lives here she grew up here so i'm very excited to be here i don't know what else to say but this is a very nice hotel room and i'm excited to eat some food she's telling us a little bit of like greek language which i think i might need a refresh on because i completely forgot all of it i remember hello but i forgot what thank you is so i'll have to refresh that and i'm excited to eat some food but yeah we made it Woo. We were getting ready to leave for the little walking tour. Our door didn't lock. We had the people from the reception like reset our key, come up here to help us. Nothing would help, so we're getting a new room. And I think we might miss the walking tour, but it's okay. She said that she'll send us food recommendations, but tour of this room because we're getting a new one. That was my 
really chaotic if you guys hear like a little noise in the background that is the mini fridge but basically what was happening was we were gonna go meet our group and everything to go get dinner together and i always make sure to check to see if the door for the hotel room is locked when we leave just like give it a little jiggle to make sure it's all good no one can get into our room and our door was unlocked basically every single time we try to close it lock it it wouldn't lock so i went downstairs to the front desk and i was explaining the situation and they were like taking a while but they were taking they were having a guy come up here and he was trying to fix the door and he was like using this little machine that wasn't working so after a while they ended up giving us a new hotel room it's pretty much the same the bathroom is a little bit smaller but we have the little sitting area and then we got the location for where the group went because they had they left without us obviously because we were taking a while and we all went to like a little place we got some um, they're similar to euros but they're not exactly euros i got like a lamb with tzatziki and it was like a wrap it was really good and then we us and another couple went with our tour guide to like a little dessert place and we got some like authentic greek desserts that were very good very filling they were like this big but they were so filling and now we're here we tomorrow we have like a pretty busy walking day so i'm excited for tomorrow to take you guys along with me but today wasn't too exciting just because we were traveling most of the day but so far we're in greece i'm really excited to be here i feel like i just can continuously keep saying that but i've never had greek food ever either and so what i had to say i was like a little nervous that i wouldn't like it just because like i don't know i'm a pickier eater but i did really like it that was good i've also never had lamb before i don't know if i would get lamb again it was just like kind of chewier than i expected i don't know but it was still good it is pretty much midnight so i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning you guys today is our first full day in athens i'm currently getting ready we have kind of like a busier day and it's supposed to be pretty hot out i was planning on wearing a different outfit i wanted to wear like these like white flowy pants and like this kind of like blue knitted tank top but it is simply too hot so that will be a later outfit i'm wearing this little dress it's from abercrombie i thought that it would be a nice dress to wear because first of all honestly it's not that much clothes so I won't get too hot and second of all I'll get a nice tan so it's like a win-win I was gonna look to see where we're going today but nothing will stand I don't want to catch this place on fire I was about to say speaking of catching things on fire this is not catching anything on fire but one thing that I didn't know about Greece is that you're not allowed to flush the toilet paper you have to throw it away in a trash can right next to to the toilet or else like your toilet could possibly flood i had no idea coming here that was a thing fun fact don't flush your toilet paper because honestly i would definitely have flushed my toilet paper by accident i wouldn't have known better this bathroom doesn't have signs some bathrooms have signs and some don't so I mean, since there's no sign, I would have never known. But our tour guide, like I said so many times, she's from Athens, so she was telling us all about the stuff. It is really hot in this bathroom, but I'm excited. I didn't sleep well. I don't know if anyone else has this issue where, like, I get anxiety in my sleep, <laughs> where, like, I'm just worried that I'm gonna miss my alarm, so, like, I just can't sleep. I constantly wake up and, like, frantically check my alarm, even though I'm such a light sleeper that, like, no matter what, I will hear my alarm. Anyone else? Just me. But I'm really excited for today. It's probably gonna be a super duper busy day she said it's like a lot of walking she was like bring sunscreen bring hats all of that stuff this curling iron ever since i've been here feels like it's gonna explode like the base of it everything feels like it's falling but the base of it feels so warm so another little life hack if you're coming to europe always like unplug your hot tools and everything i like i obviously always do that in america but just double check that's what they told me this hotel comes with a blow dryer i wish i would have used it i don't know i'm kind of just rambling right now Okay, we're starting off today. We have a hotel breakfast and it's on the rooftop and apparently it's like a really beautiful view And then we're gonna go to Acropolis. She said bring comfy shoes. No flip-flops, please And then we also have the temple of Poseidon today. So I'm excited to bring you guys along with me
the most incredible day. Every place that we go to just consistently keeps topping the last place. Also, my dress, I only really tried it on like once or twice after I bought it and the very first montage footage that I showed you guys from today was the view from on top of our hotel. It's absolutely insane. You can see a tropolis. I think I'm saying that wrong because it reminds me of like Pop Tropica from when I was a kid and then I think I keep like accidentally like combining in my head. Our our trop our trop a tropolis? A, a crop I'm trying really hard. I just keep forgetting what these names are of all these places. I just have such a short attention span and like very short term memory. Anyways, you can see everything from our hotel room view, but there's a bunch of like older people at our hotel. I never realized how many like elderly people travel to Europe and these older men would stare at my chest and they would just be like, like, well, I guess it'd be like, not even like making eye contact with me and then just like staring at my chest. And I was just like, I literally at a certain point went like this. I was just like, please stop. But other than that, today was absolutely incredible. So we started off with what I cannot pronounce. We did like a little walking tour of it. It was very packed, but it was still really fun. It was so great. Apparently there was four cruise ships that docked today. So it was a lot of people. Our tour guide was saying like two days ago, no one was there. And I was like, hmm, that, would, that probably would have been better for photos. But it was beautiful. It was so cool. But I will be honest, the entire time I was was just like is my curling iron burning the hotel down because i realized i forgot to unplug it and remember how i was talking about how hot the the thing was not even the barrel but like the handle was so hot this morning and so i realized that i forgot to unplug it i turned it off but i forgot to unplug it and i was like oh my gosh they keep telling us to unplug it like what if it's catching on fire i was freaking out the entire time like i literally was like <sighs> But then a certain amount of time had passed. I was like, it can't have burned the thing down. It couldn't have done it. I would have known by now. I would have heard sirens. I would have gotten a call. Something would have happened. Spoiler alert, it was totally fine. When I came back, it was still plugged in, but it wasn't even hot or warm or anything like that. So it turned it off. It just I just forgot to unplug it. But now I will be more careful about that. But it was really fun. I just kind of was anxious about burning a hotel down the entire time. But the view was incredible. I guess whenever I think of Greece, I think of Santorini simply just because of Pinterest. And so I didn't really just like how big Athens is like I love this place like I would move here in a heartbeat I would need to learn how to speak Greek which as it turns out is a very hard language to learn how to speak but so after that um our tour guide Daphne met back up with us and then she took us to a euro place I freaking love euros you guys I'm obsessed with them I thought that I would be more into like the Italian food because I love pasta I love pizza but I felt like after a whole week of eating pasta and pizza I was getting like a little tired of it just eating it every day and there wasn't that many like variations I had like two salads like I had salad pasta pizza pretty much every single time I ate a food ate a meal <laughs> and I loved it don't get me wrong do not take this as I didn't like the Italian food because trust me I loved it but just after eating that so much it was so exciting to eat something different and I keep saying this but I've never really had Greek food because because I'm a little bit of a pickier eater and I was nervous that I wouldn't like it, but oh my God, I'm obsessed with tzatziki, incredible. I had lamb, like I said, for the first time last night. I had pork today. Incredible, guys. It was so good. I want more. Like, I never want to stop eating this food. I want to find a Greek place when I go home. If you guys know any Greek places in the States that are actually good, I just said the state. When I first got here, I started telling people that like, oh, I'm from like America, I'm from the US. And then I heard people say like the states and I was like, am I from the states? I just love it here. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. It is hot outside. It's like a little like humid, but not by much. I mean, compared to home, pretty humid, but like there's a nice cold breeze. I just love it here. We're only here for today. And then we come back here the very last day of the trip so we can fly out of Athens, but I wish we had more time here. I'm seriously, so obsessed with this place. I love it. So after we got the euros, which again, were so good. I want to go back and eat them. Like tzatziki. I've always seen tzatziki at Trader Joe's and been too afraid to buy it because I was like, I don't know what this is. So freaking good. But after we did that, we went to like a little part of the town with like shops and everything. It was right past a trop a Acropolis, Acropolis. I should have Googled it, but my phone is on the opposite side of the room. But we went shopping and I got a couple things, two things to be exact. Brock got a shirt and then like two of the little eyes. If you guys know what they are, they're like to keep out evil. It, you know, like that thing, the blue eyeballs. 
I got something. I got two things, like I said. I really wanted a shirt. I just simply did not bring enough like pajamas and like traveling clothes. I brought like a lot of like leggings and stuff like that and it's just too hot to wear leggings here, which my mistake. I'm also really glad I wore this dress today. It was a great decision on my part. So I got this shirt. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. Like I wanted like a light blue something in Greek, but I got this shirt. It's, it says University Athens. Thought I could sleep in it. <laughs> it's really hot in here, so like the pajamas that I brought are too warm to sleep in here tonight. But it's very soft. I went to this shop and I found so many cute things that I liked that I wanted, but none of them fit me. Like none of them were my size. They were either like extra larges or like just nothing that I wanted to wear because I wanted like an oversized shirt. They were just too big on me. So this was the first thing that I bought. It was an impulse purchase, but I'm so glad I bought it. Spoiler alert. I bought it for 40 euros. In the States, it would be like 110, 120 guaranteed. Like without a doubt, a hundred something. And so I was with Brock and I was saying like, I want to be able to buy something for like my next apartment. Also, by the way, I have no idea where I'm living next year. Like if this will even fit where I'm living, cause I don't know, but I was, I wanted something to put in my future apartment, some kind of decor. You guys, you're like, what is this? This is amazing. It's huge. I got this for 40 freaking euros. Wouldn't you think that this would be so much more money in the States? Like everything is so much cheaper here. Everything is so expensive in the US. I just had no idea like food in the US compared to other countries is just so much more expensive. But besides that, this is basically like, it's like from a local tree, all of them were different. I want to put this, if I have a kitchen island on my kitchen island and I can use this like as a charcuterie board, as a cutting board. But I was thinking like, I want to put like a vase with flowers and like a fruit bowl on this and kind of make it like an anchor piece piece for like a kitchen island or if I don't have a kitchen island or a space big enough I could put this on my coffee table and do like flowers and like remotes it's so beautiful natural wood they're all different I wanted one did I already say this I wanted one that kind of had like a more of a shape to it this is like more of an edge but I wanted something that was just not like a square I loved like oh, it's just beautiful it's obviously wrapped up I don't know how much this weighs I don't know how much more of my suitcase is gonna weigh now because of it I love this there was one that I almost got that had like a handle to it, but I just thought for like what I wanted to use it as decor, it was better. And the people that sold it to me were so incredible. This lady and I literally went through almost every single one of their like medium sized wood pieces to find like one that I liked. And this was the first one that I saw out of like the medium sized ones. And of course it was the one that I got, but she like was so nice. The guy there was so nice, like wrapped it up for me so I could bring it home and not have it break. This is a reminder to myself. They said to hand wash it. And then while it's wet every once in a while, put cooking oil on it to keep in the moisture and i feel like i'm gonna have this for like the rest of my life honestly just use it in some kind of way but yeah like 40 freaking euros and look at it it's like my entire upper body yep yeah. this is going down i know i'm sitting but this is going down to like my butt <laughs> it's amazing i'm so excited to use this also the place had an etsy shop i'll show it to you let me find it this fits beautifully in my suitcase literally it, i'm so happy i'm so happy you guys today is like the best day of my entire life i did have a little stress anxiety attack about possibly burning this entire hotel down but it didn't happen also the metro system here incredible look at the metro tickets are they not so cutie okay let me find my belt bag has just like it's just kind of gross at this point this isn't sponsored i don't know how i would have even gotten a sponsorship for this they were amazing and they had a bunch of different sizes of like wood pieces they had like handles they had like spoons they had like corkscrews they had, it was all like local wood from athens too i think it was like an oak tree i honestly should look up on their etsy shop but here's their etsy if you guys are interested in it again i'm not making any money from this but this is their information. Acropolis. That's it. Acropolis. That's the one. That's where they are. No, that's not where they are. What? I don't know, but this is their information if you guys... Oh, someone's outside our hotel room. But this is their information if you guys want to get something like that. I, ooh, this is so cute. She was like, we have Etsy. And I was like, I love Etsy. So they were super nice. We are going to Poseidon's Temple tonight. I'm so sorry for whoever's outside our hotel room. And I'm so excited because we're going to go swimming. And I love just... I want to play mermaids. I literally want to play mermaids. <sighs> I love it here. I never want to leave. I would so move here in a heartbeat. I just need to learn Greek first. I literally forgot the most important thing that I was planning on telling you, but when we were at Acropolis, I suck, I know. There was this cat and it was like the friendliest little cat. We were all trying to exit and it was just like a huge crowd of people. Oh my God, I have so many funny stories from exiting. There was this old man that was in front of me and he looked at me and he goes, don't touch the marble. Like he was like, well, he said it more aggressively. He was like, don't touch the marble. And then he just touched the marble. 
And then there was also the security guard who was like blowing his whistle at people like don't touch the marble because you're not supposed to touch the marble And he was like blowing his whistle and he's like don't touch the marble Obviously like, that's his job And I looked at him and I was like have you ever touched the marble? And he goes no And I was like really? And he goes well maybe but <laughs> oh and we also got frozen lemonade after and it was so good it reminded me of, like country time lemonade if you guys have ever had that when you were growing up i always got like the big thing from costco it was kind of overpriced for the prices here in america i would say that's a steal but Anyways, there was this cat when we were exiting and it was so cute, very well-fed cat. And it was like playing with these children. Like it was letting these children pet it. And I was like, oh, cute. And so I was like, I want to take a photo of this cat. Look at this cat. And like, it was so bright outside. I couldn't see what I was taking. Like I couldn't see my phone. It was just kind of like a black screen because the glare. And I didn't even see, like this was in the background. Like tell me this is not the most majestic photo of this cat. Our entire group has a, I keep wanting to say group me, but it's a WhatsApp like group chat. And I literally sent this photo of the cat in the WhatsApp group chat because it's just like, it was such a friendly cat. Like it was letting little kids pet it. And like, it was like rubbing up against them. Ugh. I wanted to pet it, but I'm allergic to cats. And I was also worried like a stray cat, but like, I think I've said this before, but it's just so funny to think that like the animals here speak Greek. Like a dog doesn't know sit in English. It knows sit in Greek. There's been so many cute dogs. I love it. I I'm sad we have to leave. I freaking love it here. We're about to leave for Poseidon's temple in one hour. So we're gonna bring like our swimsuits and a change of clothes and it should be a really fun time. This day seriously cannot get any better. So I'm on the Etsy shop and like the things are priced a lot higher, but it's probably because it's free shipping and like they're pretty heavy. I mean, I still think that's like a decent deal considering like American prices and free shipping. Oh my God, the bowl. I should have looked at the bowls. I kind of want a bowl now. Hopefully I'll find a bowl in Santorini or Par Paros Park. Oh my God. There was this lady at the store that Brock was buying shirts from and she was just giving me all of these island recommendations and literally they went in one ear out the other. I felt so bad. I don't remember any of them, but they were all these like small islands that I've never heard of and she was just like raving about them. And I was like, I need to come back here. I love this place.